We're here in Provo Canyon in Utah, above Provo. Looking at Bridal Veil Falls up on the cliff there. We got the sun in the camera here, but you can still see. It's a 607 foot tall waterfall. Beautiful for photography, sightseeing. People love to hike up there. People love to ice climb it in the winter when it's frozen. From 1967 to 1996, there was a tram that would take you from down here to a restaurant up on top of the cliff, but an avalanche destroyed the tramway. I, I remember coming up to help clean up some of the rubble of the buildings as a Boy Scout. Guess I would have been 11 when that happened. But this is one of the more popular waterfalls in Utah. Possibly the most popular waterfall in Utah. There's a sign here get, telling the, the legend of how it got its name. It says, many moons ago, an Indian named Narita and a brave from a rival tribe, Great Eagle, met and fell in love. They planned to meet near a streamlet high on the mountainside and eloped to a land far away from both their tribes. On that fateful night, instead of her lover, Narita was confronted by braves from her own tribe. Fearing her lover had been destroyed, she leapt from the high ledges. Mother Nature was touched by her wild beauty, and she caught up Narita's streaming tresses and made from them a bridal veil of falling water. From her flowing gown, an altar was formed on the face of the mountain. Then her spirit was sent out as a mist, causing a green carpet to spread over the mountainside. The intruders fled while her saddened lover stood and gazed down at the strange yet beautiful transformation. His grief was more than he could bear. So out of compassion for his sorrow, Mother Nature molded his massive frame into the mountain and stretched his mighty shoulders high into the heavens like silent sentinels to guard over this loved one. His cries of anguish were softened into love calls to whisper forever. It says, Bridalville Falls descends over step-like rock beds in the lower part of the ochre formation which was formed during the Pennsylvanian period. Pennsylvanian rock types in rough order of decreasing abundance are Limestone, sandstone, shale, dolomite, halite, sylvite, conglomerate, and other minor salts.